Hey, this is Edison Abelard, and in this video, we're going to talk about how to create animations in Maya and import them into Unity 3D. Just hit play real quick, and I'll show you what we're going to accomplish. If we come over here, you'll see we have double doors, and I'll explain why and uh, why we shouldn't import assets in a certain way in, in a minute. Uh, what we have here is just a simple click and click, and we play, and we play the first animation and then we play the second animation of the door closing. So let's jump into Maya and I'll show you real quick what we did. So what we have here is just our regular door. Now notice I have two objects here, both the, uh, the handle as well as the door. I group them together so the animation is actually on a group and not on the objects themselves. Right, so all I have here is a, a simple animation with a rotate Y. I have a keyframe on zero with the door closed, one with it open on 15, and one with it closed again on 30. Now, the reason why I'm mentioning the frame numbers is when we bring it into Unity, we need to remember that so we can give it off when we split our animation for our developer, or if you're capable of going in by yourself, you can definitely do that yourself. So let's jump back into Unity. Actually, first let me export this so you can see the process. I'm going to export selection this time instead of exporting the full scene. We already have a door with animation in there, so I'm just going to add a, a second one. Um, a few things to note. You want to make sure animation is included. And we're not using any blend shapes or deformers, but you can leave that alone for right now. And if you ever need it, um, you can also bake the animation here. So let's just export this. Jump back into Unity. All right, so you'll see a door too. Right away, we'll have this, this um, animation clip already created, but we're going to actually create our own. So I'm just going to take this and drop it onto the stage. We'll zero it out. Real quick. All right, cool. So you see it, it zeroed out to its original stage in Maya. I'm just going to move this over. Now, our problem is, is when we exported this, we exported it as a whole scene. So when I grab this, this is actually grabbing the whole thing. And when I go to delete this, if I delete this group, you'll see this prefab is not going to break its connection. So when you're actually exporting, it's better to export out objects that are supposed to stay together as one. In our case, this door within a group or objects in this case, in the scene should not be exported all together and instead separately so that you can modify them and use a prefab if necessary. All right, cool. So now we have our door. Now the difference between these two doors is this is actually um, put into an empty game object and I threw um, a box collider on top of it. So we're going to do that. Create other or create empty, excuse me. Zoom back in. We can grab our door and drop it into our game object. We'll change the name of our game object and we'll call it door two. All right, perfect. Now we're just going to hit play real quick. You see, it opens and shuts really quick on its own. Now we don't want that to happen. Also, we also want to make sure we change this this clip because right now it's playing the whole thing and we don't have it split. So let's, let's go into our um, our FBX and you'll see here that we have our animation section. So the first thing we're going to do is actually split our animation here. Hit this plus sign and we can actually name it. So we'll, we'll name it, we can leave this idle. Actually, no. We're going to actually just make it play open and we know it's from frame 0 to 15 and that's our open animation and then our close animation it's 16 to 30 close now I'm gonna click here just so you can see what happens now that we've created our own um, split animations You'll see now it updates us. Now we have a, an open state and a closed state. Now, if we hit play, nothing's, nothing different is going to happen. Um, and that's because we're not controlling it. And the way we're going to control it 
if I just close some of these out real quick, is this door two. Remember, I said that we created an empty game object, and the reason for that is, is I want to add a script to it, and I want to make this script easily transferable. So what I'm going to do is, is actually go into my script folder. I've already created this door script with a simple on mouse down, and it just debugs out mouses down, and then it checks for these states. In the beginning, I, I said a, a boolean is open. So when you when you click, it'll check if it's open. If it's open, um, then it will just excuse me. If it's not open, then it'll it'll play the open animation, and then it'll set the value to true. So that the next time you click, it'll check is it open. Then it'll be like yes, it is open. It'll come down to this else statement, and then it'll play the close animation. So I'm just gonna take this, drop this onto our door too. Right? And you'll see that there's actually a door object here. So this door object, I'm going to replace with this animation, excuse me, with this um, movie clip. Uh, I got actor script on the mind. I'm going to replace it with that geometry. Now I'm going to hit play. Oh, how can we forget it? Mouse click. Mouse click only works when you have, if you come over here and check out, if you have um, some kind of collision detection. So, forgot to add that. So let's make sure we come back in here. Uh, we'll add a box collider. Now, of course, a box collider comes in huge, but that's fine. So now the thing that we can do is, is just come in here and just slide this, change this position. Want to make it just fit that area. Bring this down a little bit. Now you don't have to be um, exactly precise with this. You just want to make sure that it's in about the area that the user would click. Oh, it's a little too far back. All right, so that's roughly about about right. Let's just move it over slightly a little bit. All right, cool. Just so they don't interact with each other. Now that we have that there, open, close. Open, close. All right. So that's how you animate in Maya. You create an animation in Maya, you bring it into Unity 3D, and then you export it out. Now, you could go ahead and just drop this on here, but you can see because I had um, our, our door script set up on an empty clip, I was able to, to just take this game object and drop this game object right into our script, and poof, now our animation works, and we, now we can just duplicate it if we needed to, onto multiple objects and we wouldn't need to worry about repeating code because now all we really have is, is that one script. So that's our first way to animate in, in Unity 3D. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to create the same animation, this time in Unity 3D. And we'll use this towel door that has no animation clip attached to it.